The person in this video wants it to remain anonymous. Please respect their privacy. Hello, I wanted to make a short statement in regards to the recent career-threatening injuries that have been occurring at Salford City. I work very close to the medical team and thought I would be able to shed some light on the issue. Five months ago I started a yoga class because I thought it could improve the flexibility of some of the players. Marius, for example, loved it. Some of the players have reacted badly though to a few of my ideas and it may or may not be related to the injuries they have got over the last few months. This is not a sorry, it's a... Well I did not think this would happen so stop trying to sack me. That is all, thanks. Right then folks, welcome to the final couple of games of the season, Southampton and Manchester United to be played and uh, yeah, we are safe, we, we can play some stress-free football for once, uh, the first time we've been able to do that for quite a few seasons actually, we certainly couldn't do it in two years of the Championship, we certainly couldn't do it last season, there was no way, I think you might recall, uh, and uh, this season, it's been okay, it's, it's been steady, a little bit nervy at times, uh, we obviously had that middle patch where it yeah, did, didn't win a whole deal of games but aside from that sticky patch where only only fa cup wins were uh were of order we, we've done okay we've done we've done okay and southampton fighting for their lives and now we're in a position where it's up to us what we do uh so let's look at today's team and get into the game against southampton so mikey parky will be in goal walker jopalo and rekic the, the consistent back three now but just see if we can get a player like augusta walker to sign for us if not there will be a, a change of system uh columbino on the right side denlin and villalba in the middle barry on the left and tobo in behind marius and the match who are starting as a partnership but i don't know if they've played that much together but hopefully today they do the business southampton as you can see there need to do everything to win we on the other hand well let's try send them down so peter phillips wants to come to us that's essentially what i want to happen right now right then pt phillips i want you to join me next season i'm making no i'm not even going to pretend anymore i want peter phillips in a salford shirt once again and to do that we might have to send southampton down there are only a few aspects of the Premier League that aren't completely settled at this point. New to Earth, the Tottenham Arsenal situation at the top of the table is very interesting. Both teams very closely tied for that fourth place. And we saw this. Marius wins a penalty. And uh, number 12, is that Barry again? Barry to take it. He loves the penalties all of a sudden. Barry to step up then to make it 1 0. Marius was fouled in the build up. Barry steps up. And Barry. Say, uh, Barry's missed. Barry didn't. Uh, Barry he was saved what a save that is by the way think about Southampton how I would be reacting if I were in a relegation fight like Southampton right now that save would have been absolutely massive I'd quite like to win today the higher we finish the more money we get so at half time I've said we're unlucky keep them motivated we're in 11th as things stand but we can get that 10th place today if things go our way the first half apart from that penalty went very quickly part of me would quite like to see peter phillips do well but at the same time i want peter phillips to get relegated so we can sign peter phillips as a it's a poor ball on their attack and we're going to counter now marius on this right side got lots of options in the middle and finds and tobo scored last episode you might recall out to barry barry can he get a ball into the middle barry it's the match oh it's it's well it's saved and cleared southampton did quite well there now joe hart who has since he left me has become a striker ball in by joe hart but cut out by walker and uh that's probably gonna be the end of the highlight southampton forward again Foley plays it back to Marimon and uh, Ojo's on it now ball through Foley and it's is it in is it saved it's saved by Marky Parky used just the sue at the end there and uh, roped it in good to see 10 minutes to go what a dull match I think they're on the attack again we're going to bring Renard on for the final moments because we know what he can do as we go back are our Southampton going to nab a winner again a huge goal for them if they can get it Foley left side ball into the middle and oh he was offside, but what a miss. Are we going to break Southampton hearts? As I've said, quite like to. Denelin's got it. About 30 yards out. Finds Colombino. Renard! Renard! He's done it again! Renard with a late goal. 88 minutes on the clock. And Renard puts us 1-0 in the lead. Heartbreak for Southampton. And that is a huge goal for us. It puts us into 10th spot. And a, well, it's, it's arguably a big goal for Southampton. Renard breaking hearts across the world with his Star Trek enterprise. Well, whatever. There it is then. It's a goal. It's 1-0. Southampton, little time to come back. And I don't want them to come back. I want Peter Phillips. And there it is then. Throw-ins played in, but it's 1-0 to Salford, and we march on. That, that's gone well. That was really special, lads. Oh, my word. We're guaranteed a top 12 finish in the Premier League. Oh, 
Ah. Oh. Now, we don't play Manchester United for a very long time, so we'll see you on the other side of, uh, well, cut. Okay then, folks, welcome back to uh, the, the, the game against Manchester United. And you may notice a certain man in the middle. I'm talking about the man in the middle. I'm asking him to take free kicks. Give me a moment. Andy Tannoy is going to be on absolutely everything. So Andy Tannoy today, he doesn't, doesn't come off the bench, folks. Oh, no, 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 no. Andy Tannoy starts today's game. Number 23, was number 6 previously, but has changed number recently to number 23. We'll start for us today in the advanced playmaker role. It's the position I think you'll create the least amount of problems. So let's see how he gets on today. Uh, it, he's, I think next year will be his 10th year at Salford. Let's see how he gets on, though, uh, as he plays the advanced playmaker role behind the match and Marius. If he scores. I don't know what I'm going to do. Man United are playing Q kick up front, so I mean, you might review me. You've got a single goal, you've got a brace, you've got a hat trick, and you've got a rivy. I mean, four goals in a game after last episode is known as a rivy from now on. Every time Andy Tano touches the ball, I will be doing a cheer. I wonder if he's going to. No, nearly. Andy, go on, give it to Andy. No, never mind. Barry, go on, play it to. Nah, all right. We won't. We won't bother playing it to Andy. They know. They know about him. Barry, go on into Andy. Go oh, nearly, nearly. <sighs> Shit, I don't think Andy Tanner's going to touch the ball. He's still got twenty-three kicks though. Coo kick comes forward, ball in. Martial scored. And I, I don't want to say the breakdown in play was down to Andy. Um, so it didn't help matters. So uh, Manchester United go one 0 into the lead. I mean, does that matter though? Because we beat them last year when it really mattered. You haven't even won the league, boys. So who cares? Keep your eyes, obviously, on the Southampton result. We're keeping an eye on this uh, this Peter Phillips scenario. Apparently, Liverpool and Everton are also interested. We're going to finish above Liverpool, so that essentially means we're a bigger club at this point in time. Martial, good grief! Just a free kick, just one free kick. Run at them. Run at the defence. Hey, Andy Tannoy on the ball. And oh, what a what a switch of play. What a switch of play, everyone. If they score from this, that's two goals he's probably been responsible for. Ball out to this right side. Fontana with it on this right. Lorenzo. Ah, Martial. Oh, it's a foul. It's a penalty. Oh, Andy. This might be his last game for Salford. It might have to be. So, um, um, I think it's Martial's going to take it. It's not been a great performance from us so far. Ku kick steps up and... Marky Parky goes back to uh, not save Yaving, so never mind. It's 3 1, 3 0. I keep giving myself. Did that yesterday as well? It's 3 0. Um, they've scored again. Corner was played in. And yeah, Kukic scored. He's, he's going for a Rivy. He, he quite literally is going for a Rivy. It's it's 3 0. Andy. Oh no, another corner. Ball in, Kukic. Oh. The way things stand, we're still going to finish 11th. Okay, this can't happen. I need to find a way to get Andy Tannoy to not be a, a nuisance factor. Okay, I've thought I've got it. Got the solution. And Toyo's going to come on with the match. Boom. There we go. Tannoy is going up front. Target man attack. If he doesn't have to move, he's going to be fine. I probably should have had him as an enganch before. Never mind. Not the advanced playmaker. So keep an eye on him. Number 23, the Michael Jordan, the David Beckham. Of Salford City. Probably going to retire the 23 shirt when Tanoi retires as the ball's ripped in. Where are the match stats gone, boys? Boys? Boys, where are they gone? We've lost them. Restore all. Match stats. Brilliant. Gone. Bloody hell. Oh, it's a shambles. It's a whiff. Damn. United. Are... This is revenge for last season, isn't it? So it's 4 0. Uh, Andy's. I mean, as he touched the ball, Salford stats. Andy Tanoi has had. Where is he? He's done six crosses. Why? Right, we're going to have to attack. We've got to get a free kick for Andy Tannoy. The new, the new goal here, folks, is not to win the game, obviously. The new goal is to get Andy Tannoy a free kick. Marky Parky with a good save. Bloody hell. He's got 20 free kick taken. He needs one chance. Tannoy, corner ball. An assist. An assist will do. I mean, where's it gone, Andy? We should have probably made contact. He stood out here, not because he's waiting for the ball, because he can't be arsed. To... He's moving in. And... Nah, shit. Q kick. Ah, oh, fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way from the field of play, and again, we've enjoyed his performance, but it's not been so good today. It's number 23, it's Andy Tannoy. <laughs> uh, Renard's coming on. 5 nil. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Right, Tannoy's off. Can we now mount the most improbable of comebacks? Uh, probably not. Away at Old Trafford. I decided to play a 34, 30, I don't even know how old he is. He's 30-something. Kukic on it. Oh no, don't make it, don't let them score again. Oh, 
Vlauber's got it. Plays it out to Barry. Is there going to be a consolation goal in the offing? That's the big question. Barry ball in. Marius is there. And Tobo scored. He scored before. He scored again. It's 5-1. The comeback seems unlikely. Let's not, let's not write it off, though. And there it is, then. Manchester United 5. Salford 1. It brings an end to our season. And what a season it's been. Survival is confirmed. 11th place. Didn't quite get the 10th place. QPR nabbed it off us. But we do finish above Liverpool, which I do think is fantastic. Uh, Southampton lost. Oh, they played Man City on the final day. Did they go down then? They did go down, which means a certain Peter Phillips may be winging his way all the way back to Salford City. That's the real question. For those that aren't aware of Peter Phillips, we had him as a regen. Uh, we had to sell him for a million pounds very early on in the season, or in the, in the seasons. Uh, but yeah, he's a born Salfordarian. I've made up a name. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can get him back into England International. I'll be doing everything I can. So you can see here, lots of different things have happened. Middlesbrough have gone down with Derby, as well as Southampton, as mentioned. Uh, oh, they're sacking their managers, their front and centre. 19.2 million for our 11th place finish that's an awful lot isn't it 570,000 to be paid out uh, which means our balance sheets look a little bit like that 41 million in the bank <laughs> oh it makes me so excited uh, which is excellent news and I will join you next time we're probably going to do a little round up uh, of everything that's happened this season maybe go through a few bits and pieces that you've not seen before because uh, we've not done that for uh, two or three years now maybe four years uh, so yeah I'm going to do that so next episode a little bit of a recap looking at all the things Salford in terms of uh, what we've achieved and, and how far we've come and what we expect to do next year and the players that will leave and how and let's see, have a little look at some of the players that have left who knows right then well if you enjoyed today's video uh, we'd love to care for me not to mention Sundays I mean leave a like that's, the, uh, that's a, sorry leave a like if you enjoyed the video leave a like thank you uh, subscribe if you want to see more Love is care. Got it. For me to mention you. Until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Cheery bye. Five one on the final day. Not 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 a perfect ending, was it? Ugh.